Good morning, happy Vlogmas day 10. I just woke up, I'm in a good mood, and it's Friday. You guys know the drill, first things first, coffee. We've got a pretty, pretty fun day ahead. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm wearing a fireball shirt right now. Good morning. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, um, every morning on Ryan's personal Snapchat, I'm trying to make him like go public on Snapchat or post these on TikTok or something because they're golden. Every single morning, well, Monday through Friday, he flips his eggs and puts ice in his veins right after. It's like his thing. Not actually puts ice, you know, he does like the ice in my veins. Every morning. And his friends from school and now like look forward to it. Every morning, uh, his friends have kind of equated it to like, um, the no bones dog like if it's a bones day or no bones day like if he makes the egg flip it's like it's a good day <laughs> uh, which I think is hilarious so today's Friday and on Fridays Ryan likes to do something you know out of the ordinary I mean he's he's really done some cool stuff it's very impressive he's um, flipped the egg so like he was on um, or his mom was on the top floor of their house and he was in the driveway and she threw it out the house and he caught it um, he's thrown it up like, I don't know, 20, 30 feet high and flipped back down and he caught it. He's done like so many things is what I'm trying to say. He's, I can't even think of them all right now. I'll have to ask him. But um, so sometimes his roommates will help him on Fridays to film it or like be the other catcher. Um, and this is what he said to me and his roommates this morning. I have a 9 a.m. egg flip time. Need some coordination for this one. Please confirm that you are available at this time. <laughs> so I responded all corporate. Apologies for the delay. I had to confirm my other meeting time. I'll send a Cal invite now. Confirming I'm available if you want to loop me in on details. <laughs> so funny. So that's in 15 minutes. I haven't even eaten breakfast myself. Um, I have no idea what he has in store today. I don't know what I'm part in this. I'm a little nervous, but I'll definitely film it. So get hype. Made myself some eggs before I go help the OG egg flipper. Just got this text from Ryan. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'm on my way. Got this puffer from Tommy Hilfiger and it's so comfy and warm and it has a hood. Um, I'm gonna bring the boys over this tree. I asked Ryan last night. I was like, would you guys want a pink tree? And he was like, honestly, yeah. Cause they don't have any festive decor decorations or anything. And they're here till like the 22nd because of work. So I think they need a little Christmas cheer in the boys apartment. So let's go bring that and do an egg flip. All right, just got to Ryan's. The eggs are ready. Ryan, are you feeling good about this one? Yeah, it's gonna be a big flip. Big flip day. Put their tree right there. Very good, very good. All right. <laughs> oh, you're going for Oh, deep. he's going far. This is unreal. You ready? Hold on, let me get a good angle here. Yeah, I just did a night one. Okay, I just didn't. Show the video for This one? Probably right. So, well, that means I'll have to do this to loop. If I'm standing behind loop. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Take number one, he's literally making more eggs to try this again. Okay, Ryan, what's the method for this take two? More prepper, or we get everybody outside and then I'll come out because you need the pan still to be hot. So oh, the egg slides a little bit better. eggs cooled off a little too much? Yeah, it did. Oh, man. The dedication you have to make even more eggs. <laughs> take two. Good? I'm here for you. This, there's no way this egg's touch anywhere but this fan. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Come on, no! That'll work. <laughs> it just bounced. Ice in my veins. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, just don't show the egg. <laughs> they did it. Just got back from Ryan's. That was a great way to start my day. I hopefully you can see it well in my vlog. I'll have to watch it back. Um, I got one of these boar bristle brushes. 
that's a tongue twister a boar bristle brush apparently it's really good um for shine in your hair and then also i think they say you can like rub it on your scalp it's just like the bristles are really good for your hair i got this off amazon the brand denman and it's like 20 dollars. it's very small but apparently it's oh wow my hair does feel very soft and shiny all of a sudden maybe it was because i did get my hair done and like whenever you get your hair done like it's always hard to recreate that this is like still from my shampoo on tuesday <laughs> riding it out um but i'm really happy with my hair color if you guys don't know i did a drop root they call it so like my roots are going in so we just kind of blended it out and i'm so happy with it did some bright money pieces in the front um i did this last winter too so yeah i'm happy with this brush i'm gonna get my vlogmas up now and then take a shower and get ready for the day we've got an exciting day ah. trying to figure out what thumbnail to post because obviously I like this one better but this one shows more so sometimes I'll post on Instagram because I'm just curious what you guys think and uh, most people are saying the top one which I had a feeling so I love you guys thanks for helping <laughs> um, I just got ready for the day I am headed over to the Wilson store in Soho I'm so excited I walk past it like every day it looks so sick I'm actually working with them on an Instagram campaign they I always think of them as tennis but they also have like so much sportswear for all different sports like they have the Wilson basketballs and I mean all kinds of things so I'm getting to go today and pick out some pieces. I was on their website last night just because like I wanted to see what was up and they have really cute sweat sets right now. I really want a tennis skirt. I'm working with a stylist there and we're just going to have a good time. Um, so we're headed there and then after I was like, oh, I'll be near the gals in the go office. Um, so I'm going to get the work done that I need to get done at the office and maybe do some Christmas shopping while I'm in Soho because why not? And then Caroline, our gals in the go assistant, is coming to the office to meet me and we're doing some like tiktoks and stuff like that for gals on the go podcast tiktok go follow i really love my outfit today i finally can do like a semi pretty good sleek bun situation because of my new extensions placement for my hair extension so i'm really happy about that why did i think i'd be able to show you guys there hold on i'm like i really like my outfit it's nothing creative i'm just I love wearing stuff like this and then being able to put my hair up. So I'm really happy and I just, I'm really happy with my hair color. So we did a little claw clip situation. I'm wearing these earrings from Studs. I'm actually going to an event for them tonight with Dumois. It's a Dumois and Studs event. So excited. We'll be taking you guys along, but they sent me these earrings and I'm obsessed. Sweatsuit is from Boundless Loungewear. A lot of people are asking um, just about more details. I got this set in a size medium. It fits perfectly. It's so soft, so comfortable. I always reach for it. They also gave me a coupon code, not sponsored. It's Danielle20 for 20% off. And then I'm wearing this jacket from Princess Polly. And then my Adidas shoes and crew socks, obviously. So let's head over to Wilson and just get started with our day. We've got some fun stuff going on. Hello from the Gals on the Go office. I love it in here. It's so happy. The natural daylight just is shining in. I got some really sick stuff at Wilson and I don't want to spoil it because I'm going to be posting some Instagram stories soon. So go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. We're going to get some work done at the office and then Caroline will be coming here soon. Also got some packages. I went and picked them up. I forget what we ordered, honestly. Oh. We ordered another pink extension cord, um, and then, oh, we ordered one of these to just have at the office. It's like a adapter, because my computer, I don't have an SD card thing, so when we need to send the podcast episode out, we'll just 
use this and we'll keep it here. And then I believe in here we have two tripods because I use mine at home and the one Brooke brought is broken. So we ordered two tripods. So I'm not gonna open those right now because no need, but that's the gals on the go office haul. So I am gonna get to work. I love this background. My friend Katie Bellotti made it. Um, she sends me them every month. I'm obsessed. Um, so this one is the December one. She's so talented. She handwrites them herself. If you join her Patreon, that's how you can get them. changed my flight <laughs> I talked to my mom this morning and she was like I get it do what feels right to you if you don't feel complete if you don't feel ready like obviously stay there and just a lot of things are popping up for late next week and I just moved here and it's Christmas in New York and I want to be here and I'm so thankful that I could go home again um, end of January I really might because it's Gasparilla in Tampa which is a huge like festival i guess you could say and it's been canceled a couple years so um and a lot of my friends are going back for that so maybe i'll go back for that or i'll find time because it's going to be really cold here so i changed my flight to next saturday the 18th so i'm here a couple more days <laughs> yay all right so i just stepped outside of the office and when i tell you guys i literally met three different groups of subscribers that was so cool love you guys soho is hot today we're going to Chipotle because it's just my go-to lunch. I bet that the line is going to be crazy long because it's like peak lunch time. Everyone's on their lunch break. <laughs> so, oh, I love meeting you guys so much. And it's like not cold out today, so we're thriving for that. Um, I literally love New York City so much. I literally just had so much fun on my 10 minute break going to Chipotle. So like I said, I met the subscribers. And then when I was at Chipotle, the guy in line was like, nice Chanel classic. I'm like, you know your stuff. I don't know, really sweet guy. And then on my walk back, I met a subscriber named Maya and she has a YouTube channel called Maya Zine, like M-A-I-A -A Zine. And she's doing like, She's from Portugal and she's just here right now and she's about to leave to go back. And I happen to meet her, she's a podcast listener, everything. And she's making like a street style video. So she's like stopping people in Soho and asking them where their outfit's from, stuff like that. And she featured me and I was like, oh, I wish I had my jacket, but still either way, I'm so honored. So I got my typical Chipotle order. It hasn't changed since like senior year of high school. Always gotta get a side of chips. Izzy. Usually I go for the grapefruit, but I just recently got the blackberry. Very good. And then, and then we got brown rice, black beans, chicken, tomatoes, and lettuce. I don't get sour cream or cheese or anything. I'm really plain. But if you're a real viewer, you know that already. And then of course the chipotle fork. They're so magical for some reason. So I'm gonna dig in. Caroline will be here in like 30-ish minutes and we'll get to work. More TikToks are being made. I'm very pumped. Back from the office now, watching Morning Toast. I can't get over the Freedom Tower reflection in my photo. It's so beautiful. The sky is so gorgeous right now. I've got all kinds of things. I came in hot after the office, so I'm gonna clean up around here like I literally always do. Ryan came here, did laundry, and I guess I had stuff in the dryer, so he threw it all in my bed. Last time he folded it all, but I'm sure he was busy. So I was so confused when I walked in, though. I was like, who has been here? But yeah, some cleaning to do, and then we're gonna get ready for an event. I'm putting away my laundry right now, and I am able to watch vlogs through the reflection of my paint, or my photo, so I'm watching Brooke's vlog right now. So it's fun little things.
I just want to show you guys a behind the scenes. Um, every influencer ever has that corner. So right now I don't necessarily, well these I just need to put away. Usually it's over here, but I decided to move my corner of stuff so everything else looks nice. I just have a pile of stuff over here. Yes, update, I still have it unpacked from Thanksgiving. And at this point, am I just gonna repack for Florida? We'll see. Ryan's Christmas gift um, <laughs> over here. So just thought I'd give you guys a little insight on that. I'm about to start getting ready. I'm about to jump in the pool. That was like an acting game I feel like we used to play in theater. I'm trying to decide what to do with my hair. Probably just gonna curl. I'm not gonna put it up, I don't think. Gonna fix the makeup, the under eyes for sure. Gotta figure out an outfit. I'm so excited for this event tonight. Margot, Lee and I are going together. It's so magic in here. Like every night, I love it so much. I'm so happy I got a Christmas tree, even though I'm not here for Christmas. Like I know so many people that didn't and I'm like, oh, it just changes the whole vibe though. Also, I got two more of these scents from uh, Pura, but this is the brand Apotheque. This is my favorite scent, you guys know, white vetiver. It's a very chic smell. It's the only way I could describe it. And these are little um, scent little packs to go in my Pura. If you guys don't know about this, I was obsessed with them, and then I got sponsored by them, and I obviously still use it. I'm so obsessed. I, there's an app on my phone. There's two different scents in there right now. I have... Fraser Fur and Capri Blue Volcano. And on my app, I literally control like the intensity, if I want it to start or stop. Like if I'm on my way home, I want to turn on the scent. It's incredible. So I've got Fraser Fur going right now. It's so high tech, it's so the future. But I wanted to get this because I have this scent everywhere. The diffuser I have over there at my TV, that's the Apotheque White Vetiver. I have a huge candle of this. It's just so amazing. If Lolabo ever comes out with these, it's literally game over. So it's just a little fragrance refill. I will have my Pura diffuser linked down below because I'm obsessed with it. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm feeling a little LaCroix moment as I get ready. Oh, and actually we're gonna take a shot and it's not necessarily a ginger shot. Um, when I did Instacart, I ordered this brand but the ginger one and I think he saw that this had ginger. I, I didn't correct him, it's okay, but I did get five of them, so I'm pushing myself through. It's not that bad, I took one yesterday, but it's got oil of oregano in it, and oregano is such an intense taste. But there is some ginger still and elderberry, it's really good um, to stay healthy. So, we're gonna take it. All right, I can't lie. I'm not excited about this one. I'm always excited for ginger shots. Well, I guess sometimes I'm like, oof, I don't know if I can handle this. Oh, the tree, I can't. It's all magic. All right. R.I.P. that. Hey. <laughs> All right. Cheers. <laughs> that does not feel great. Oh my God. The thing about the oregano is that it ha it tastes like I just ate pizza. That's so gross. Anyways, we did it, Joe. We did it. All right, I just finished getting ready. I'm really happy with my outfit and I just touched up my hair with the dry bar like three day bender and I used some Moroccan oil um, texturizing spray. Love that stuff. Here is the fit for tonight. I really like it. I know it's all black, but I feel like it's a little different. Um, if you watched yesterday's Vlogmas, you saw my haul from Manier de Noir. I think it's called very great priced clothing. Um, so this, both the top and bottoms are from there. These pants are so cool. They're cargo pants, but I mean, they're like, they're, they're I'm like buckled up here. Um, I really like how it fits at the waist. It's got the two buttons and the zip, which is really nice. This top is exactly how I want it to look. It's warm. I'm not going to wear a jacket because it's like 47 degrees and we're Ubering there. So I can't imagine I'm going to be too cold. And then I'm wearing my studs earrings because it's a studs and Dumois event. If you guys don't know what Dumois is. They're like a gossip Instagram for celebrities. And this is their first ever event they're doing and they're covering in real time. So maybe I'll find out who Doom was. <laughs> um, and then I'm wearing the infamous at this point Zara pointed booties. And my bag is from Stodd. It's my little going out bag. So, and I decided not to do any necklaces tonight and I'm pretty happy with it. This is the fit. I'm gonna go meet Margot, and then we're gonna head to the event.
Just got home from the event. It was so much fun and they gave us a little goodie bag too. It was so cute. Saw so many of my friends. It was a really good time. Just got back. It's 8.30. I'm heating up the rest of my Chipotle. My friend Morgan's almost here and Ryan and some of my guy friends are up on my roof right now. Up on the house top. Because some of my friends from high school and from college, some of my guy friends from high school and college are here. Um, so we're like hanging out tonight with Santa Cons tomorrow. So I'm like I don't want to go too hard, so we'll see. I think it's just me like chill pregame vibes. Might go to like one bar. Um, I don't take you guys along because why not? Fun content. I really haven't gone out in the city much, so yeah. And I'm so excited to eat this Chipotle. Cheers. <laughs> 